going on, everyone? Darkwater here, back in Airport CEO, back in DWI here. Um, taking a look here. Uh, was debating about adding additional seating nearby the gates. Um, just as I was loading in, just kind of watching everything. Uh, I feel like we could get away with adding just a little bit more seating in here. Um, just so people are a little bit closer to the gate, because I feel like that's something that I am almost running into an issue. Because over here, people are actually waiting up here and then passing through the bathrooms to the boarding gate. Which is probably a little weird, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just add some additional seating nearby. Uh, don't want it here. Just so people don't have to cut through the bathrooms. We'll head just add a little bit more seating nearby the gates themselves. And it does kind of fit in there. Just nicely. Um, hopefully things have been going well for you. Uh, looks like we have just enough space in here. There we go. And there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that all introduced and set in. Didn't do it in that area, so let's just copy those three real quick and just drop them in. There, and we can copy these two and get those two added in on this side. So now I did want to go through and see if I can get the last branch up here in. I might have to do some tweaking on the hangar area, though. Um, so let's go in and let's go ahead and speed things up, get things starting to be built. Uh, I am going to need some foundation in here. So let's go ahead and get that laid in. I'm just going to go ahead and take it all the way up. Uh, that'll get put in. I also want to go ahead and add in. Let's kind of see where things end up lying on uh, the tarmac here. I think I went seven before. That's eight. I'm just going to drop a little bit in for the time being just to kind of measure out where everything's going. We're going to go ahead and get a large concrete stand here. So we'll rotate that around, drop that in. Um, as for the terminal inside here, what are we looking at? I think it's seven. No, it's 10, isn't it? Yeah, it's 10. So let's go 10 up here as well. Uh, so 10 ends up being about there. It's probably got to be a little bit longer than that, but that's okay. Uh, and then we've got another, can we get a large terminal in that spot? No. Okay, so that's going to change things. So we will need to rearrange where these two hangers are going. I'll probably just rotate them, put them on the side up here. Uh, the second one I'll probably just kind of bury up top here because I think I will have enough space for the medium up there. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to, to do a little finagling up here to get that last large stand in here. And I think this area here will become the international terminal area. Um... So real quick, let's come across here. I want it there. That is correct, yes? Yes, okay. Then I actually don't need, because that's going to be the very end. So I don't need any of that. Uh, let's use the correct 
bulldozer, bulldoze foundation. There we go. So that is going to be the end of our terminal. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just add a wall in here, I guess. There we go. And we'll add a wall on this side. Uh, this is main floor. It does not need to be secure. So let's go ahead and go ahead and dezone this secure area. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and take and we're bulldoze. Maybe. I'm going to take out this wall. And we will take out that wall, and while we're at it, we might as well take out that wall. So that's going to be a big chunk of terminal. We're going to go ahead and add in probably another one, two, three of the uh, baggage bays, or baggage sections, rather. Um, and we'll get those in here as well. Uh, Probably looking at the second floor, do another security area up here. Uh, for the international area, I'm going to do a, because you do need to have the, the passport check. I'm probably going to do that kind of in this little area here. And if we decide to go in and do a second international section, we'll do it over on this side. Also kind of mirroring it, doing the, the passport control on this side as well. Um, apparently this exist on the second floor. So let's take that out. We're not going to need that. Um, but we will need terminal foundation up here. So let's go ahead and add that in to there. Add in this. Actually, I can go ahead and just take this all the way across now. Come on, there we go. So we'll go ahead, we'll get that added in. This whole area is gonna have to be a secure zone. So that's now a secure zone. Once that gets built, actually, we can take out walls as well. So this wall can go. Basically, this entire wall can go as well. And need a wall right here. Like that. There we go. Um, there's a wall here, is there not? Even though I'll probably be putting a wall back in there at some juncture in the very near future. So thinking about doing another security portal up in this area. Let's drop down for a quick second. Still putting in everything down there. That's fine. Um, real quick. I'm using tile down here, am I not? You yeah, okay. So using that dark tile, we're just gonna go ahead and take this all the way up to all the way up there. And let's see.
So just for measurements, what do we have here? We've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and kind of try and keep things consistent here. Copy this out. One, two, three, four. That's one, so it should be here. So this is going to be where the next luggage bay goes. There we go. Um, once we have this entire side complete, what I'm probably Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is, there's one, two, three, four, and there'll be five and six. There'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six different um, baggage areas. Basically, I'm going to split each of the baggage areas in half. So this first row is going to get these four. Second row is going to get these four. Third row is going to get these four. On the left-hand side of the uh, airport, the first row is going to get the the four on the left and it'll just kind of go up from there um i had a weird thought of potentially redoing the check-in area and just getting rid of security just doing security kind of just at little areas here and here and then doing uh security checks into the individual branches and then doing all the check-in on the second floor but I think I'm going to just keep it the way it is for the time being and just do a another security check up front here. Um, might need to rework that road a little bit, but I have to make it go down and around depending on what happens with the uh, conveyor belt system down in this section whenever we this one will be fine it's the next one that i'm not 100 percent whether or not it'll be okay or not um eh, that one's being pushed back okay we're we're okay it's just taking his time 27's over here so yeah it's it's okay again once we get the third runway on that side i think it'll be a little bit better uh, probably do more medium on this side probably keep the the four large on here probably just go with a couple rows of medium in the middle section and then probably again too large for the other international because I would assume uh, large flights are probably going to be more inclined to use the the uh, international than the medium ones I suppose if you're traveling like U.S. to Canada, U.S. to Mexico, medium flights, medium stands might be okay, as well as uh, if you're doing any kind of, I guess, European transit, that would also kind of uh, be the same kind of thing. Uh, medium flights would also possibly use uh, medium planes to go from country to country. Um, yeah. So it looks like people are using the seating closer to it, which is beneficial now that we've added that in. Might not need all of this extra seating, so maybe we'll readjust that on the other side. Um, what if we uh, do some of the terminals over on this side? We'll maybe use some of the space in between a little bit more. Um, just a thought. But we'll go ahead and give this a second and we'll go ahead and let them finish laying all the foundations. And actually we can go ahead and add in the large stands since we've got the cash for it.
got just enough space in here for those, and we'll go ahead and add in a taxiway. There we go. And right here, we're going to need a little bit of a service road. Just to connect it up to the service road there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this section built. We'll go ahead and build the international zone here. And then maybe we'll figure out where to, to move the hangars. I assume. Okay. So you can set that so medium can be. Okay. That makes life easier then. So just need maybe one large hangar on each side. So I could actually put it maybe over on this side a little bit more. So it's not kind of in the direct runway path, because I imagine that probably wouldn't be a good thing. Um, I can also potentially add in the police and fire that I haven't played with at all. So that's something I could potentially add up in this section also. Um... These seem to be clicking along pretty well. Uh, I've got our weather stations, have our break room as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this run, and I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, so it looks like they're just finishing up some of the walls down on the lower level. They're also going to have to do the, the upper level. Went ahead and added in a staircase in here, because we're going to need one anyways. It'll also help them get up and down a little bit faster, went through, added in the uh, pathway here that they're going to use for the baggage. So the baggage system is going to be on this side with all the baggage check over here. And then probably again a break room for some of the, the baggage uh, handlers down here. So they're just finishing that up, but we've got all of this taken care of. We've got the second floor done as well. Again, just need to add in the walls. Um, but let's go ahead and I think I kind of want to come in here and lay out kind of the rest of the lower terminal as well as where security is going to go up on this floor. Uh, so let's come in here real quick. Is it possible to just... Um, what is the end here? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Then that wall. So let's go ahead and actually copy. See if I can copy all of this. And then we'll give it a second. I know it doesn't like to copy the, uh, the baggage conveyor belts that great. It freaks out with them sometimes a little bit. We've already got the first one laid out here because adding this will also allow us to see where the uh, security is going to have to go on the other one. So it was five. So it should, in theory, fit right there. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a, a look at the conveyor system, which makes me wonder if you can't just run it directly underground. It needs to be in a secure room, I guess, for lack of better phrasing. Because it makes me wonder if it's registering not being in an enclosed environment like this. Because I just have them kind of running in the ground. However, if somebody's burrowing in the ground, that's interesting. Uh, might do some shops down kind of at this end. 
And I also might fill this out and drop another shop in over here as well as over here. So we've got the escalators in here. Again, uh, it freaks out whenever I copy the... Uh, the conveyors up and down. So that takes those there. Can I just... I don't know if I want to copy all the shops though, but... Let's just see if I can copy all of that. Because there's a lot of pieces in there to copy. There. There's no way that just cost me only 10 bucks for all that. Okay, so I do need to put in all the security stations and I need to rezone all of this as well. So let's. Um, Go ahead and dezone this entire area. Uh, let's scroll down here. Where's security coming in at the wall? It looks like. So this should all be a secure zone. And basically everything up here should be secure even though we're missing pieces of wall here. So that's fine, they'll get that squared away in just a minute. That's all secure as well. And since I already have it, let's go ahead and just make this section secure also. Takes care of that. I'm gonna need more security guards now that I think about it. Uh, so large, um, let's go ahead and rotate you around. Okay, so I need to have a secure zone. Ah, shoot, forgot already. <laughs> okay, so it's there. So this section should be secure. Now I should be able to add in some large security stations here. Nope, not there, there. And one over here. I have to do the same thing up top here. Uh, so it's down to there. So you all need to be a secure area. And another one, two, three, four, five. Seven. Let's come in here while they're building all that. Let's go ahead and get, uh, well, let's reject you. We'll get some more passenger service agents because I know I'm going to need more of you. We're going to need more ramp agents because we always need more ramp agents. We're going to need more janitors. Uh, we'll take you two guys. Take you as well. We're going to need more security officers. 
We're gonna need more ramp agents. Anya, I'm sorry. It's just not gonna work. Uh, probably gonna need some more security officers. Well, yeah, I definitely need more because I just added 14 more, so that's uh, probably gonna need more service technicians as well. With the amount of planes that we're bringing in here now. Again, wish you could just basically train the entire staff all the way up rather than having to click through. Because uh, if we click into, let's go with ramp agents. Uh, I got 44 pages and there's what, 15 per page? And then having to go through and manually train them up. A, a train all would be a nice touch or have them just automatically incrementally train with having an HR person would be a nice touch no Claire we're not gonna fire you because again 44 pages of them it, it, it can be a bit much. Ramp agents, passenger service agents. Much more janitors. We get you guys all in there. More security officers. Where are we at with stuff being built? Yeah, we do actually have security guards up here, and they are processing people through, believe it or not. And then, uh, still need walls being built, and actually, I don't have exits up here, do I? No, I don't. Uh, security exit. Uh, so I have them, how do I have them? Okay, so they are even with the wall, and of course the fern. So it would go here. So I need to go ahead and tweak the security area. There. And the same over here. Uh, security exit. One there, one there. Um, don't know if I'm going to do anything with these shops just yet. Uh, still building everything down here. For all the baggage bays. Looks like we are going to need more seating down here as well. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll drop in a, a shop down here on both sides. And then I could potentially do another one here. And this is just going to be more shopping all the way through. Uh, let's go ahead and... Quickly come in here, deal with the carpet here. So you guys are all green. Luckily, I don't need construction workers to do carpet. Because one of the other things I've noticed with the shopping, yeah, it people aren't happy with my shopping options apparently. Um, but it looks like all the walls are in up here. And again, ready to just kind of convert this into an international zone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one here. We'll let everything else get built and we will start to turn this into an international section in the next episode. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys for being here. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Oh, yeah.